Barbell Front Squat. The front squats. One of the best exercises to build those quadriceps. The front squats are gonna differ from the back squats because you're actually putting the bar at the front of the body or the anterior part of the body, supporting the weight with the clavicle portion. This is gonna be considered more advanced movement, so we're gonna go over how it's done. So the best way you can perform front squats is actually in a squat rack, about chest level, so that way you can walk up to the bar and lift it off and you're ready to go. We didn't have that option, so we just cleaned it off the floor, but typically, you wanna do it in a squat rack. So when you take the bar off the squat rack, you're gonna be placing it either here or here in the hand grips, cross or clean. You wanna walk back, start about shoulder width on the, on the stance, toes slightly pointed out, and then immediately go a little bit wider than that stance. That way when you squat down, you're squatting between the legs. The hips are still going back, chest up, and that way you can squat between the legs, keeping the chest up. That way that chest isn't gonna drop and put unnecessary stress on the spine. You wanna keep that core really tight. You also wanna keep the lats tight too. That way everything's stable throughout the whole motion. And you can build those quadzillas that much easier. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between the cross hand grip and the clean hand grip in the front squat? Well, the difference is the clean hand grip or the ones where your hands are actually at the bar with the elbows forced up is going to be the better of the two hand grips because you're actually keeping that chest up and the elbows up at a better angle. So when you're to the side and you're actually holding the bar, you're placing it back and the stress of the bar is actually pushing that chest up and keeping it up as you squat down. So it's easier to hold that bar, elbows up and together. With the cross hand grip when you're here, it's a little bit easier as you squat down to drop the chest and also the shoulders and elbows. So that way that bar wants to roll off and it's a little bit more uncomfortable. The only problem is with the clean hand grip, if you're a bigger guy or just have unflexible joints, it's hard to get in that position. So that's when you wanna utilize the cross hand grips. The range of motion of the front squat is all gonna be relative to either your body type, your flexibility, or even your confidence in the lift. What you generally wanna do is at least try to get about thigh parallel to the floor. That way you're gonna involve as much muscle as possible, even below parallel if you're confident, flexible, and just know what you're doing, a more advanced athlete or buff dude in this case. So what you wanna do is widen that stance and when you squat down right between the legs, you can go below parallel as long as you're keeping that chest up and lower back straight and pushing straight through. Or you can go just to parallel or once, if you're a beginner, you can just start above parallel. That way you get the motion down and get more confident in the lift. Front squats are a classic exercise to include in that program if you wanna build those legs, specifically the quads. So hopefully after you watch this video, you have the know-how and the confidence to step in that gym and perform the front squats with perfect form. Buff dude knowledge, that's what it's all about.